Good morning. Rejoice in the Lord, O ye righteous, for praises is coming for the upright. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, the thrust of his heart to all generation. Blessed is the, is the nation whom God is the Lord, and the peoples whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. At this time, uh, I, I require we just uh, us a congregation of him. bowed heads let us go to the Lord in prayer our father our heavenly father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come to thy creator and thy maker of all things to a mighty and powerful God that sits high up on his throne and he looks low and morning star he has all power in the palm of his hand we serve a God that is able and we serve a God that cares and if we keep on serving the Lord it will pay off after a while Father God we thank you for watching over us all night last night we thank you for sending your darling angel down soon this morning to touch us all with the finger of life and love. And when we rose this morning, we rose in our right mind. And we had a portion of health and strength. And we can't help but say thank you, Jesus. Father God, we thank you for our families. We thank you for our children, for our homes. And oh God, we just thank you for one another. I pray, oh God, that you instill and keep in all of our hearts love, peace, joy, and happiness for one another. Because it is written in your holy word, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. I pray, oh God, that you keep smiling down on morning star. We need you around here, and we can't get along without you. Bless our past and his family. Keep your loving arms of protection around all our sick and our shut-in. Those that are in hospital, nursing homes, bless the bereaved family, the one that I know of and that I don't. Touch the Fleming right, family right now in a special way, and the Murphy family. And Father God, bless the youth of our church, because they are our future. And just bless all the auxiliaries, the deacon board, the deaconess board, the trustees, all our officers. Yes, unite us closer together. And oh God, when we've gone the last mile of the way, we won't be able to greet and shake hands around here with each other, but we want you to make us a home in your kingdom. Way up on entering your kingdom, we want to hear you say, Servant, well done. Because upon entering your kingdom, there'll be no more sickness, no more pain, no more jealousy, no more misunderstanding. Every day, will be Sunday. All these things act in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. Amen. And I do 
thank God. We thank you all for joining in with us in our prayer service. Now you're back in the hands of the choir.
Can you help us sing that uh, just together? The Lord is blessing me right now. for this young man this morning. Amen. 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 And uh, your, uh, your name escapes me right now. <laughs> Noah, that's right. I should remember that, Noah. Uh, but uh, Noah is a uh, high school, uh, uh, getting ready to graduate here soon, and uh, he plays music and writes music and plays drums, and, and uh, he's, a, he's a bright, bright young man, and we thank, we thank God for him. All of our young men aren't doing bad. Uh, God got them doing some good things, and we're, we're thankful. Continue to pray for Noah uh, as God uses him in his plan. Amen, amen. Uh, speaking of young men, I'm glad to see you here on Christmas. Uh, we have Brother Cameron Jackson. He's home for the holidays in uh, Alabama now. Amen. But we're, we're thankful. We're thankful for him. Uh, being here today and uh, also I believe in my eyes and not right that Scotty back there <laughs> amen we are glad to have Scotty uh, home with us he's in school there in 
North Carolina? Baltimore, that's right, that's right. Amen. I, I hope you brought us some seafood home with you. <laughs> amen. Anybody else home for the holidays? Uh, uh, amen. Amen. Well, bless the Lord. We're delighted to have each of you to come and to share. Uh, uh, we know that uh, I've gotten some phone calls this week asking if we were having church today. <laughs> and I uh, told them, yeah, we have we having church today. We just didn't have Christmas Eve service. So I'm glad y'all showed up this morning. <laughs> Amen. Good to be here as we've come to worship him in spirit and truth. Just a reminder that we will have New Year's Eve service on Friday night at 6 o'clock. And we'd love to have you to come. We'll uh, be sharing our own testimonies. And uh, I know a number of persons has mentioned to me about sharing testimony. This would be a good time to do it. And we would love to have you to come and share with me for about an hour. Uh, but again, that will be Friday night, uh, New Year's Eve at, at 6 o'clock. Amen. If you have your word with you this morning, I, I want to share a word with you this morning. It was taken from the psalm, Psalm 66. And uh, I want to begin reading at verse number one. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation of the Bible, but you're welcome to read alone in whatever translation you have. Again, that's Psalm 66. There you will find these words. Shout joyful praise to God, all the earth. Sing about the glory of his name. Tell the world how glorious he is. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Your enemies cringe before your mighty power. Everything on earth will worship you. And they will sing your praises, shouting your name in a glorious song. Come and see what our God has done. What an awesome miracle he has performed for people. Uh, he performs for people, yeah. He made a dry path through the Red Sea, and his people went across on foot. They rejoiced in him, for by his great power he rules forever. He watches every movement of the nation. Let no rebel rise in defiance. Let the whole earth bless our God and loudly sing his praise. Our lives are in his hands, and he keeps our feet from stumbling. You have tested us, O God, and you have purified us like silver. You captured us in the net and laid the burden of slavery on our backs. Then you put a leader over us. We went through fire and flood, but you brought us to a place of great abundance. Amen. And I'll stop there. The grass withered and the flower faded, but the, gray, but the word of our God shall stand forever. For just a few minutes, y'all, I ask that you pray with me this morning. I want to talk about an incentive to praise, an incentive to praise. God, we thank you, Master, for this day and your blessings, and we ask that you forgive us of our faults and our failures, oh God. Master of God, that I ask in the name of Jesus that you would speak a word to our hearts today, oh God. Master, give us freedom, oh God, to worship you in spirit and in truth, oh God. And Master, we thank you, oh God, for all that you've done for us, oh God. And Master, oh God, uh, because you have... Uh, set us free from the penalty of sin. Oh God, we can't help but praise you for all that you've done. Speak now, Lord, and we are hearers of your word, and we will be doers. 
For it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Uh, thankfully, at the close of another year, can you believe the year of 2021 is on its way out the door and, and uh, a bright hope for a new 2022? Uh, and, uh, and, and my brothers and sisters, the, the summons declares uh, this morning, they, they are singing a song uh, because there was this recognition that, uh, of what God has done in the past. And they're looking forward to the new millennium when God himself shall reign over the earth. They're looking for this time when the Messiah shall come and they are preparing the people uh, for all that God has said he will do. He will bring it to pass. And so they're excited and they're, uh, they're recognizing. And, and, and my brothers and sisters, it's, it's one thing to get excited when the Lord has done it. But it's a whole nother thing to get excited when he has not done it. But yet my hope and my belief and my faith is that he will bring it to pass. This is the predicament that they find themselves in in this text. And that, uh, some have argued that it was the time of Hezekiah uh, 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 when Hezekiah uh, was fighting his enemies and Hezekiah was talking to God about death, but I believe it goes further than uh, the time of Hezekiah because that was this intimate uh, 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 relationship with God where, where people were trying to change and turn from their wicked ways and turn back to God. And, and they had, uh, if, if you check uh, Hebrew history, there were a number of times that they were going forth and then they would have setbacks and they would go forth and then they would turn away. Uh, but I would, I would suggest, my brothers and sisters, they're no different than you and I. We have times when we are on fire for God and then we have times where we fall back from God. And, and But thanks be to God that we serve a loving God that accepts us just where we are. He doesn't want to leave us that way, but oh, he will receive us where we are. The text says that, that uh, the, the, the writer lifts up this idea that because, uh, number one, of what God has already done, he says it's a good time to praise God. Uh, matter of fact, his, his praise is a little different. He doesn't just say praise God. He says, but you ought to shout it. Uh, oh, my brothers and sisters, every now and then, y'all, there's some things that cause us to shout. Uh, listen, sometimes uh, when I'm watching a football game and the right thing happens, uh, listen, I elevate, <laughs> I elevate my voice. And uh, uh, But I've learned, my brothers and sisters, I don't just have to do that when the football game on, but I learned riding in my car, I, I can elevate my voice sometimes. I can learn, I've learned that in the restroom in my own house, sometimes I can elevate my voice, but I've learned that every now and again in God's house, we all elevate our voice in praise and adoration, not just what he going to do, but for what the Lord has already done. He, he argues in the text, uh, uh, he makes it clear that people ought to praise the Lord. He says, uh, uh, he says uh, number one, he, he, he argues, y'all, that praise is due. Not, not just we ought to praise, but we owe God something for what God has already done. And listen, y'all, I'm not going to ask you to look at 25 years or 30 years, but if you just look at a few months ago where God has brought you from, when you look at just over this year how God has kept you at, when you've had friends and loved ones who moved on from this place to that place, God still has you here for a purpose. And listen, I appreciate Praise is due unto God. There's some stuff that happened in our lives that should have taken us in a state of depression, that should have knocked us down. But listen, God upheld you. God strengthened you even in the midst of it. Our praise is due unto God. 
But listen, my brothers and sisters, if, if you need an incentive, uh, an incentive to praise God, I want to suggest, my brothers and sisters, not only ought you just recognize the fact that our praise is due unto God, but secondly, you ought to recognize the power of the Lord. Uh, listen, my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, the children of, of Israel, as they gathered here, the psalmist is singing, he says that when I think about what God has already done, he says, I remember when when our people crossed over the river. He said, they didn't do it in the midst of the water, but the water rose up on both sides. And listen, ain't nobody did that but a God like this. Listen, my brothers and sisters, if, we're, if we tell the truth, y'all, God has done some things in our lives that it had not been for the Lord on our side. We would not have made it. Listen, the Bible says that they lift up this idea that God allowed us to walk over on dry land. Matter of fact, the land that we possess, our enemies lie all around us, but they can't touch us because of the power. Power of our God. And I want to I want to suggest, my brothers and sisters, sometimes the things that God does and God moves in our lives is not all because we've been so good, not because we've been so kind, uh, but because of God's power, his goodness towards us. But then, my brothers and sisters, I would, I would argue, my brothers and sisters, that the writer says in this same text, he says that I don't want you to uh, uh, be arrogant about this thing. He says, but God's been, uh, God's been good to you. Uh, God's made a way for you. He says that God has made, uh, made some, some spectacular things happen uh, your way. Uh, he says not just in the past, but God is doing some things in your life right now. And uh, verse, uh, <clears throat> verse 4 says, everything on earth. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, will worship you. They will sing your praises and shout in your name in a glorious song. I would argue, my brothers and sisters, that, 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 that not only is, is, is praise due, and not only uh, is it because of his power, but it's because of his providence. God himself sets himself up and above us all. And, 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 and listen, the old saints say, he sits high and he looks down low. He guides my feet everywhere I go. I, I Listen, the, the hymnologist says, I, I, I serve a God uh, uh, that, 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 that not only sits high, but he, he knows what I stand in need of even before I need it. Listen, he speaks of God's providence in our lives. And I, I would suggest to you, my brothers and sisters, uh, that not only is he making providence a, a, a reason for our praise, but then fourthly uh, uh, is that God protected us. And now I, I want to suggest to you, my brothers and sisters, that the text says uh, around verse number eight, he says, um, he said, let the whole world bless our God and loudly sing his praise. Our lives are in his hands, and he keeps us from stumbling. Listen, blessed be God. Listen, uh, he says that this thing is not just for my ancestors of the past. He says, but this is for the children of God right now. Listen, he allows us to move and have our being. And the Bible says, and he keeps us from stumbling. And listen, the truth be told, uh, there's enough in all of our lives that will cause us to stumble and fall at times. But listen, blessed be God that he sustains us. He upholds us. And listen, my brothers and sisters, sometimes even when we don't understand, we, we, we don't know which way to go. Listen, my brothers and sisters, God upholds us and he keeps us. It reminds me, y'all, when, uh, when I was growing up, we, we, had, uh, uh, we had this little, uh, uh, bouncing thing and, uh, and, uh, and it would allow you to hit it and every time you hit it it will bounce back up and uh, I, I forget what it was called back in that day uh, but uh, it, it sat real high and you could kick it my fact uh, when we were little we could jump on it and, and, and fall all over it but you know what would happen every time you did that it would 
bounce back up. And, and listen, I learned later, y'all, when growing up, what made it bounce back up, that there was something on the inside that held it in place. And, and so you can run up on it, you can fall up on it, you can hit it, but it will bounce back up. Listen, if you've been born again, there's something on the inside of you. No matter what the enemy may throw your way, it allow you to receive it, but bounce back up. Listen, I don't care what the, the doctor's report may be, but it, it, if it's in Christ Jesus, it allow you to bounce back up. I don't care what your finance predicament may, may have been. Listen, if you're in Christ Jesus, Jesus, he will allow you to bounce back up. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I'm almost finished, y'all. And I just want to suggest to you, my brothers and sisters, that our incentive of, of praising God is, is because, y'all, he says that uh, the praise, number one, is due unto him. We ought to have an incentive because of the power of God all around us, uh, the providence of God, and, and, and then the, the protection of of God, that he protects us even in the midst of this. The Bible says our lives are in his hands. And listen, my brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but I'm just thankful that all that I have is in his hands. Whatever move I need to make next year, it's all right, it's in his hands, y'all. Listen, my children, my, uh, uh, listen, my family are all in his hands, y'all. And I want to argue it makes a difference when you're in his hands, y'all. But listen, lest I keep you too long, y'all, that, that's one last thing I want to tell y'all, and, and, and I promise you, I'm done. Verse 10 says, you have tested us, O God, and you have purified us like silver. You captured us in, in, uh, in your net and laid the, the burdens of slavery on our backs, and then you put a leader over us, and we went through the fire and the flood. Oh, blessed be God. But you brought us <laughs> to a place of, of great abundance. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I would, I would argue, my brothers and sisters, uh, that one of the things that we can shout about, one of the things that we can praise God for is that he allowed us to go through some stuff. And, and listen, my brothers and sisters, uh, uh, over, over this past year, we, we've had to endure the pains of this pandemic. And, and, uh, and, and sometimes if it hadn't been us, it's been somebody close to us, a friend of ours. And some of us had to uh, uh, touch bodies and lay hands and uh, uh, that God would heal. And, and, and listen, I have, I have it on good authority. All of God's healing doesn't happen on this side. Uh, sometimes we got to cross over to the other side, but the healing mechanism is still there. I, I would argue, my brothers and sisters, God has proven himself Time and time again. Listen, I don't, I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I recognize that where I am today, if it had not been for God's hand, listen, God was doing something. When I thought I was in the valley and couldn't see my way through, God was proving he was making me ready for something greater. And I declare to you, my brothers and sisters, you'll never understand what the mountaintop is truly like until you've been in the valley a little while. Listen, the Bible says that he has been proving us. But listen, my brothers and sisters, uh, my last point I want to tell you is, is that we ought to give him praise because of the performances of the Lord. Listen, I do know, my brothers and sisters, that the Lord has a way of performing in our lives, oh God. And, uh, and listen, if you don't believe he performed anything, listen, just recognize he woke you up this morning. And listen, I know that sounds old and contrite, but listen, if you don't believe me, look at the obituary. Somebody didn't get up in them this morning. Somebody had planned for this morning, but God had another plan. Listen, I want to suggest, my brothers and sisters, God gave you strength and, and, and limbs and, and able uh, to come come out to church this morning, but also God gave you lips and sound that you can lift up your mouths and give him praise. Listen, y'all, my last verse in this text, I skipped it earlier so I could come back here. He says in verse number five, y'all, this, this is the root of, it whole, of the whole thing. He says, come, oh, help me somebody, come and see. <laughs> 
Listen, my brothers and sisters, every now and then, we've got to come where God is. Come and see what the Lord has done. Listen, my brothers and sisters, when you just look at me, you know God's been good. When I look at you, I know God has been good. Come and see some stuff, y'all. Listen, I, I want to I wanna share with you, my brothers and sisters, on your way home, you ought to look over your travel on your way home. And, and listen, and every now and then, you will see how good God's been to you. Listen, listen, if you don't believe it, on your way home, listen, just remember, you got something to ride in on on your way home. And listen, if that ain't enough to shout about, when you get home, listen, house paid for. Yeah. On your way home. Listen, it, it's, it's a realization, y'all, that, that God has been good to us, and we all owe him praise. The Bible says, uh, what an awesome miracle he has performed for his people. And I want to suggest, my brothers and sisters, because God's been good to you, you ought to be good to him. Listen, y'all, just, just, for, just for five seconds, y'all, uh, just us in the house, y'all. We, we ain't worried about who our neighbor is. We ain't worried about. But listen, why don't we just give God some praise uh, for, uh, for, uh, for the end of another year? Listen, I don't know what he's done for you. I don't know what your word may be. But give God praise. Declare his awesomeness. Declare his greatness in this place. Listen, for truly, God is real and God is able. God, our Father, we come in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for your greatness. We thank you for your power. God, we thank you for sending your son, Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for him coming even as the Messiah, O oh God. But most of all, he came to save his people from their sins. Thank you, O oh God, that he hung, bled, and died at a cross called Calvary. Oh God, but thank you that he didn't stay there, but he rose from the grave with all power of heaven and earth in his hands. And God, we ask that you would move down, direct us, oh God, uh, that we would use our ways to praise you for what you've done. Because one of these days, he's coming back again. And Master, oh God, he's coming back for his church, which is his bride. Oh God, speak to us and through us. Lead us and guide us and strengthen us. And we'll be faithful to give you praise, glory, and honor. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. The door of the church is open. I invite you to come by ladder. Christian experience, our candidate for baptism. I invite you to come to Jesus. You don't have to fix yourself up. You don't have to make yourself right. Just as you are, will you surrender your life to him? and watch him make your life brand new. The door of the church is open and we invite you to come at this time. today. Would you stand with us this morning? Oh, he's been so good. He's been so he's been mighty good to us. He's been so
we'll close the word of prayer. I would say that we're glad to see uh, Sister Keys with us uh, on today. And Brother Keys, we're delighted to have you all. Uh, Sister Keys lost her sister. And uh, I ask that uh, you would continue uh, to keep her uh, in your prayers and that family. God, our Father, we come in Jesus' name. God, uh, we thank you for all our eyes have seen, all our ears have heard. We thank you for the sweet communion of your Holy Spirit. God, uh, we pray, oh God, this morning for the Keys family, oh God, and God, uh, we pray for uh, the Murphy family and, and the Fleming family in that time of bereavement, oh God. And then, God, uh, I lift up Deaconess uh, Dixie Jones to you. Uh, I pray your healing hands upon her. Pray, oh God, for Deacon Cornell Catchins and uh, pray your healing hands upon him. God, uh, we lift up Sister Eddie Jenkins to you this morning, oh God, and uh, pray, oh God, that uh, you comfort and keep her, bless her children, oh God, around her. And then, God, uh, we ask that uh, you would uh, touch Sister Carrie Cannon. God, pray for your healing power over her on today. All of our sick and shut in, we lift them up to you, oh God. God, uh, we thank you, oh God, uh, for Christmas and uh, the celebration of your birth, oh God. We thank you for family and friends who've traveled far and near, oh God. Give them traveling mercies, oh God, as they go back to their destinations, oh God. And then, God, uh, we ask now that you would uh, bless us that we depart from this place, but never from your presence, oh God. We ask that you would go with us, stand by us, guide us, and strengthen us. Bless us indeed, dear Lord. We pray your hand be with us. We ask, oh God, uh, that you keep us from sin and evil, that we may not cause pain. We ask this, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. We ask this morning that you would follow the directions of our urchins, and they'll lead you out on this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I just.